Hey, I'm Melissa Don and this is your update for Saturday, February 6. The Supreme Court is lifting some of their COVID restrictions placed on California churches. The lawsuit was led by a local church, the South Bay United Pentecostal. The ruling was issued late last night and the court says California can't enforce its ban on indoor religious services. However, some restrictions can remain in place like capacity limits and a ban on singing and chanting. Now we're waiting to see what action the state of California will take. The TSA says it's going to recommend fining people who violate their new rules, which include not wearing a mask. The rules apply at all airports, bus and rail stations. The first offense will cost about $250 and repeat offenders. You can pay as much as $1,500. The federal transportation requirement will remain effective until May 11th. Now here's a look at where the county currently stands with COVID cases. An additional 39 deaths have been reported, bringing the total to 2,777 since the start of the pandemic. The county also reported last night that more than 1,400 new cases of coronavirus have been confirmed. That's out of more than 23,000 tests, putting us at a daily positivity rate of 6%. Well, the number of COVID-19 cases and quarantines also continue to climb at local school districts as they reopen to in-person learning. The latest is Cajon Valley Unified, where 19 students tested positive for the virus. Since the beginning of the school year, they've had a total of 570 cases. But the district has been partially open since September, and now two-thirds of its students are back in school. NBC7 reached out to the Cajon Valley Teachers Union to hear their thoughts. We're waiting on their response. The district says parents can choose virtual learning if there are any concerns. And San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria announced $45 million in state funding for rent relief. To be eligible for the relief, you must earn no more than 80% of your area's median income and show proof your financial struggles are related to the pandemic. Lawmakers have also approved a statewide freeze on evictions through the end of June. Well, SeaWorld is set to reopen to visitors today. The park announced it'll be open and operating under the state's rules for zoos and aquariums. Reservations are required, but all rides will remain closed. SeaWorld also says it's making changes around the park to allow for physical distancing. Well, we will continue to bring you the latest news right here online on NBC7.com and, of course, always on air. You can also learn more about our podcast today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and how they're affecting our community. Stay safe and have a nice day.